Hello again, VR users. Unfortunately for me, and luckily for you, I have to make another video regarding how to install Oculus on a separate drive. At this point, they should just hire me, because I've put more hours into this than I can count in order to get this to work as close to 100% of the time that it can. So, the first thing that I'm going to be telling you is, no matter what, regardless of where you got the previous information, disregard it. The way that I will be showing here is the best and the only way that I've seen work. Now, the first thing that I'll be going over is the path. This part is the hardest for people to understand, so I'm going to try to simplify it the best that I can. Alright, so here you can see my example of the path. Yours should look more or less exactly like this, the only difference being that after the users, the username will be yours and not mine. So here, I'm going to explain this a little bit. This C. This is the drive that your Oculus setup is currently on. Users is the folder for your users. This will be your username. Desktop would be this. And then after the desktop, you'll have the Oculus setup.exe, which is right here. I will now show you the most simple way to get the location for your Oculus setup, which all you have to do is right click it, go down to properties, and there's your location. If you have any problems, I will need to see both this, which is your location, as well as your path when you're finished with it, which would be what this would be for you. If you don't have both of those, I will not help you. Now I will go over how to create the path shortly, but first I will go over what needs to be done if you see OneDrive in this location here. The fix for this is very simple. All you have to do is open your file explorer, go to this PC, Open your C drive, go to your users folder, go to your username, create a folder named desktop. I can't use that here because I already have a desktop, but I'm going to use the example as a name. And once you have that folder named desktop, all you have to do is drag your Oculus setup.exe into there. With that done, if you're using OneDrive, we will now get into the process of getting the path working correctly. What you need to do is copy the location of your Oculus setup like this, and paste it into a notepad or other document creating platform to make this easier. Now that we have this in our notepad or document software, all we need to do is do backslash, type in Oculus setup.exe space slash drive equals D. This D is not necessarily what you will be using. It is the drive letter for whichever drive you want to install the software in. Now, something that I commonly see people run into is they have downloaded several Oculus setups. This will cause an issue, but it's extremely simple to fix. All you have to do is go to your Oculus setup that is on your desktop or in your desktop folder. Right click it, rename it, get rid of the brackets and the one, and then press enter. That is the most common problem fixed, and from this point forward, a majority of people will have no issues from here on, as long as their path is correct, like this example shows. I will now show you what you need to do with this path. All you have to do is copy the path, press your Windows key, type in run, press enter, paste it into this box, and press OK. You'll be brought with, uh, you'll be shown an admin prompt. Press yes. And then it will open the Oculus software. Now, I already have my Oculus software installed, but for a majority of people here, after you accept the terms of service, it should have no problems from here on out. However, there are some cases that will differ from the majority where it will say ineligible drive selected or not enough space even when there is. This problem is more complicated to fix than any of the others, but it is still possible and I will try to make it as straightforward as I can. Okay, so the rest of this video is not going to be scripted as this is going to be way too complicated to make a script for. However, it'll still be easy enough for you to do. Just watch what I do. What you need to do is open your folders Open your file explorer, 
I have it up on another monitor. Let me drag that over real quick. Go to this PC. Go to whichever drive you want to install your Oculus software on. Create a new folder. Name it Oculus for simplicity's sake. Now, press your Windows key. Type in Format. You will see here, Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Press Enter. Wait for it to load. When you get to this part, go to Action. Create VHD, which is a virtual hard drive. Press Browse. Go to this PC again. Go to your D drive and find the Oculus folder that you just created. For the file name, type in Oculus software and press save here where you see virtual hard disk size type in 20 on this drop down menu switch it over to gigabytes and then press ok down here in the bottom right you will see creating virtual hard disk and then you'll see a percentage when this is at 100 percent that means that the virtual hard drive will be ready now it is done for me so once you have the thing over 100 percent you need to scroll down on this menu until you see the disk that is 20 gigabytes right click on it right here where it says disk 5 unknown 20 gigabytes click initialize disk press ok give it a second right click this now New simple volume, next, next again. Assign it a drive letter. In this case, I'll use drive letter Z. And then press next again, next, finish. And now with this, you should have a separate hard drive that you can install the software onto, which should work 100% of the time. Now that you have this other drive enabled, Go to your path again. Replace the drive letter with whatever you set it to. In my case, I set it to Z. Copy it again. Press Windows key, type run. Paste it in here again. Press OK. Yes. On the admin prompt. Wait for it to open. And then from here on, it should work, no problem. Now, I am not joking when I say I've put anywhere between hundreds to a thousand hours into getting this to work as simply as possible, and I do not work for Oculus in any way, shape, or form. As such, I do not get anything in return for it. With that said, if you are satisfied and happy with the help that I offer, I would greatly appreciate it if you could either stop by one of my Twitch streams, check out some of my other content, or send me a tip for all of the work that I've put into this. I would really appreciate it more than you think. Even though I am just a voice in the video right now, I am an actual person who had the same problems that you did and decided to do something about them so people after me could get the help they deserve. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. If you still need additional help, please join my Discord and post both the location and the path of your Oculus setup that you were using, and I will help you when I have spare time to do so. Thanks for watching. Deuces.